What's up guys, Josh from Strengthside. The single most important thing in shoulder health, function, and strength is the control of the shoulder blades. Most people have lost this control and as a result, the shoulders become weak, stiff, and you're not able to use them very well. Strengthening and mobilizing protraction and retraction of the shoulder blade is the best place to start. If you like what you see here, you can check out my full guide on unlocking the shoulders mobility and strength. Link in the description. Okay, let's get started on some retraction and protraction. There's two main rules to keep in mind during all of these exercises. Number one is to keep elbows straight. No small bends in the elbow, and this is actually harder than it seems. Number two is to keep a neutral spine, so really this means no thrusting your rib cage up. The first exercise is hanging retraction. You will start in an incline variation where you're mostly upright but you're leaned back. Then, keeping the elbow straight and the neutral spine, pull your shoulder blades together. This is retraction of the shoulder blades and then let your shoulder blades fall back into protraction when they come to the side of the rib cage. As you can see, there's different variations. You can hang on rings or some straps or find a pole to lean back on. The more you step your feet forward and lean back, the more challenging the exercise becomes. The advanced variation of this exercise is the inverted retraction where your chest will face straight up. If at any time you feel yourself breaking one of the rules, your elbows bend, or you're losing spine position, go back to an easier variation. And to move into the most challenging variation, straighten your legs all the way so the hips are extended. The next exercise is the scapular push-up. This is the opposite exercise. You will forcefully push your shoulder blades apart into protraction and then let gravity pull them back into retraction. The beginner variation is to start on the knees. Try to get as much movement as you can out of your shoulder blades. The next variation is to move into a plank position on your toes and applying all of our rules, keeping the elbows straight and a neutral spine, push your shoulder blades away to the side of your rib cage and pull them back. Beginners usually have a hard time keeping the elbows straight. I suggest practicing this movement on your knees to ingrain that pattern in your body. The elbow variation takes the elbow joint out of the equation and allows you to really isolate your shoulder blades. Although this can be extremely useful, you should train both of the variations. These exercises seem easy, and they are extremely basic, but what you'll find is that most people cannot do these, and this leads to crappy shoulders. If you want more information on unlocking your shoulders, you can sign up for my Roadmap to Strong Shoulders, link in the description or on the screen. And if you're not already doing my free full body program, Move Strong Now, I feel bad for you, man. Sign up today, start making your body healthier and stronger. That's the video. Hope you find it helpful. As always, I'll see you in the next one.